Yeah, this is On The Couch at Music City SF with DJ Stefan Aronson. Let's get this started. Uh. All right, you guys got to make room for me. That's the concept. Someone's got to make room for me. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, Someone told me the last show that this um, concept's kind of crotchy. Like, like yeah. the camera kind of goes like <laughs> straight into our crotches. And, yeah. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't even say sorry. This is Alvy and the Breakfast Pigs. Cheers. Welcome. Pigs. Yodas. Oh, I left my I left my whiskey over there. Ah. Everyone, switch mics. <laughs> Let's get a little roll call as to like what your name is and what you play in the band. Uh, I'm Alvy. I uh, sing and play guitar. Brady, play bass. Phil, play the lead guitar. I'm Jake and the drummer. Nice. So I've always wondered with uh, bands that are named after the lead singer, um, how do you convince the rest of the band to be okay with that? Well, because maybe you wanted it <laughs> named after you, and you're like, why didn't they name it after me? It's, we are, uh, yeah. Well, it kind of goes back. We're originally from Arizona, and we moved out to the Bay like a year ago, about a little over a year ago. And um, the original house we lived at was called Breakfast that not most of us lived at, actually. Brady did. And Jake did. Phil was just kind of there. I lived on the floor. Yeah. It was originally like my songs and they kind of jumped in and they were just the pigs that hung out at the house at breakfast. So Alvy and the breakfast pigs. Sounds good. Do you ever want to abbreviate it to like A, B, P? Sometimes. Or a and the BP? Sometimes we do B fast Ooh, pigs. We hadn't had the discussion about abbreviating it. Yeah. We, yeah. Can, we go by the breakfast pigs sometimes. That'll yeah. fly. Yeah. Does that mean you guys had to start writing songs without Alvi? Maybe we already yeah. have. Uh oh. <laughs> I, mean, I quit. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. This, All right. this is where you saw it happen. That's some this drama is where right the there. band broke up. <laughs> I'm sorry, quit. guys. Yeah, and then Alvi quit. Um, uh, let's see. How long has the band been together again? I mean, from the beginning, we had a couple shows back in 2000, 2010 and 2012. We had oh. two shows. And then me and Jake started playing as a two piece in Arizona. Mm -hmm in 2014 and then we moved here uh in 2000 the end of 2014 and i've been playing ever since so do you consider yourself to be a year and a m couple months personally or? i think i take it as from the first ep that released which was in 2014 so probably okay. a couple years um you guys have all been to music city sf before yes yeah yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, what would say? What would you say brought you here the first time? Well, the first time was the balanced breakfast for me, um, and then I uh, shared my experience with these gentlemen. And since it was the first brunch, we got a free, like, practice here. So that was free what session. Brought, yeah, Tight. that's what brought us here in the first place. I guess. Nice. So. First time I came here, played a show in one of the practice spaces, like a tiny little practice space with my other band. In one of these little practice spaces, and let's get fucked up. Oh, can I cuss? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So my my oh, stance my stance on that. here's my stance <laughs> my stance on cussing is it's okay on YouTube. Uh, you just have to make sure it's okay with your mom because I'm probably gonna promote this video to everybody oh, and your mom's gonna watch it. So uh, Brady's mom likes right. cussing. Shit. <laughs> uh, hey mom, I'm not gonna swear if you were wondering. It's just <laughs> not my style. So I might. Yeah. Mom. The, one of the goals of Music City SF is to create an affordable resource in the city. Um, what would you say is something that the city needs uh, musicians from a musician standpoint? What's something that the city needs? Cheaper rent. I think like hangout spaces. It's, it's hard to meet musicians not in a bar. I mean, yeah, cheaper rent. Being able to go to gigs in the city every night is like you have to live close, or you're not gonna be able to take advantage of that. Where's your guys' practice studio now? Secret Studios. Okay, cool. With uh, Growlers. David. What up? What do you um what do you what do you love about Se Secret Studios? Um I mean love about it? I mean <laughs> We can go with like. It's like, yeah, I mean it's close to our house. It's really it's close convenient. to our house. It's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. the most convenient. That's uh, that's kinda why we picked it. Um there's a lot of bands that uh, practice at Secret Studios. What are what are some of them? Um, well, Growler. Um Blood Problems. Blood Blood problems. problems. <laughs> Is this real? Yeah, that's his other that's band. My other band. <laughs> Jet Trash, I think, is across from us. The Grannies are right next to the us. The Grannies are next to us. There's yeah. the Postman. Hot Lunch, yeah. Hot Lunch practices there. Remember nice. that Rip and Surf band that's just always perpetually playing. And they're playing so goddamn so loud, loud all the time. Favorite band in the Bay Area. Oh man, that's um, that's tough. 
I really am liking uh, Bones and Bootleggers right now, a kind of buddies of ours that we've been playing some shows with, and they're killing it right now. Uh, they just released a new record, and uh, they're actually from Oakland. Solid choice. I'm going to go with Clashing Steel, another buddies of ours, and Nick just shreds open tuning guitar, slide guitar, but it's punk rock. Oh, man. Miss Lightning? I don't get tired uh, of watching <laughs> the bass player guy. Super awesome. Bass player and drums, and that is fucking ripping set the control oh yeah Ooh. oh yeah. forgot <laughs> favorite venue in oakland Ooh. um me personally we've only played a couple but i liked the hatch it was really cool free show once again which is why i liked it where's the hatch it's on 14th and franklin there you go okay um anybody else have a favorite venue in in the um east bay oh man I it like can be one that you had to pay to see the show too it's okay <laughs> hey i liked the store club man that was yeah. that was felt right at home it's gritty Greasy, yeah, a bunch of it weird shit nice. on the walls, like Barbies and shit. Yeah. My favorite uh, b venue in the, in San Francisco, then? Knockout. I like Knockout. Ditto. The mic. I'm, I'm hopping on the Knockout train. That's for me. Nice. Yeah, it's. Did you drop my mic. It's fun. I'll kick you out. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> From the sound engineer. Eret, Eret, not that. dropping the mic. <laughs> yeah. I like um, Boom Boom Rooms. Fun. Thoughts on brick and mortar? Haven't played there. Want to? Yeah. Haven't uh, even been inside. Thoughts on thoughts on uh, the chapel. Want to play Ooh. there. Haven't played there once. Like, <laughs> love that place yeah. though. Cool yeah. place. Yeah. Where'd he go? Yeah, okay, we're good. We're oh good. my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's back. <laughs> Things got. Uh, didn't know what to do. Who's nice. gonna ask the questions? I know. Seriously, <laughs> I, I can edit it so that I'm still in it, so it's it's gonna be oh. fine. I can also edit it nice so transition. I suddenly just. I can also edit it so you don't see me get off the couch and I suddenly just disappear. So that'll and be. And suddenly I'm back. Yeah. So what's in the future for uh, Alvy and the Breakfast Pigs? Um, well, we're recording an album this month, and um, that we'll be producing and recording all of ourselves. So um, we'll be looking for that in the next couple months. Um, free, like Alvy likes it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see about the free part. Trying to pay for no studio time. <laughs> Do you guys have band meetings, or is that the same as rehearsal? Uh, we're actually overdue for a band meeting, yeah, I think. I think uh, this yeah. is it. <laughs> we, we get drunk and say we're going to have yeah. a band meeting, and then the band meeting... Doesn't All right, happen. so um, guys, what do you, what do you, what do you want to talk about? Like, what's what's going on with the band? What do you need to fix? What's the? Uh, I don't know. I didn't call the meeting. Uh, who called I think the meeting? It was Jake. Oh yeah, it was just how we're moving forward. That was it, really. Uh, it's like everybody gets high fives after that. Us. Hey, yeah. we're talk moving forward, guys. Six band meeting. We're moving Six. forward. Yep, yeah. we're moving forward. Another everybody show. Moving forward. Yep. Band guys. meeting down. Cross Done. that off the agenda. Yeah. Now you can Next. just practice when you get together. Nice. Yeah. You know. Sweet. Keeping it easy, keeping it sexy. <laughs> Any goals for your facial hair? Um, I'd like it to connect one day, but it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Those parts right on the edge are the hardest. Uh, I yeah. mean, I just like the sides. It's just nothing there. No good. Sweet you want rockabilly him? chops? He tries. I'll, I'll try to teach him. My goal is to to get it one day where I can eat a piece of pizza without eating hair in my mustache. Um, all right, I'm gonna change this up to the uh, selfie portion of the interview, so I'm gonna go get that camera, bring it over here, and um, it becomes the selfie version of all the right. interview. So, go get that. Roger. Am I first? Yeah. All right. How do you how do you how do you look? Oh, I feel look self horrific. Yeah, he looks he looks good. I'll here we are. So the question Yoda. is, um, what do you want to accomplish in one year? Personal goals for the band. Uh, release uh, another EP, hopefully a full length by them as well. Music videos, a couple music mm. videos. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of hoping to do like a little tour here and there, maybe a, a Bay Area tour, possibly down to LA, maybe even up north. <laughs> what's, uh, what's your uh, dream instrument that you don't currently own? Ooh, that's tricky because I just threw down on like my dream guitar. What is it? It's a. Gibson SG. Broken in half. How's it sound? It sounds pretty tasty. Eat it's it. bullshit, though, because I bought it on eBay. <laughs> and <laughs> it showed up and the headstock broke off, which is Again. stupid. Balls. He, he now Can owns he two that? Gibsons with but two broken headstocks. It. But they both sound sexy. So Lead guitars, right? Lead guitars. <laughs> yeah. Riffage. Do you have someone that tunes your guitars off stage? No. It's a bummer. <laughs> Sometimes they don't get tuned at all. <laughs> don't tune is that, play. Is that a um, player style or a band style? 
Uh, it's a kind of a band style, I guess. Kind of a like, band. I don't hate the player. Hate I the just keep breaking my tuner out of tune guitar. Mm. What five pedals do you put on a uh, on a on a strip? Yeah, right off the bat, you're gonna need some kind of badass tuner, like a tube screamer. Tremolo. You guys can chime in. It's cool. Tremolo. I think a, uh, uh, a delay. Like a model that you delay. Play. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah. Boss delay, probably. A it's delay. Solid. Sure. For um, whatever you're doing. Octave pedal. Jake. Jake, Jake, Jake and the Jake, camera. Jake, Jake, Don't forget about your microphone. Jake, you uh, Jake. you play drums. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, you've been the quietest one on this interview. Um, Is that a excuse. habit of drummers, like to hide in the back and just kind of like, when it's needed, add something into it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's say that. It's, <laughs> it's possible, keep... like without knowing it, you're the one that's kept this entire interview going because you kept the beat or something, and I he's didn't the even one, know. He's the one who keeps the band going. He's actually the silent leader. He. Uh, he told us what to say for this interview. Uh, si- yeah. Alvi's just a puppet. <laughs> I'm the puppet. He owns me. He's Alvi's not even his real name. <laughs> yeah. He's Alvi. Yeah. That's the real Alvi. <laughs> so um, with your drum sets, uh, acrylic or um, what's the other option? What? Plastic. Canvas? Or, I wood. Know. Thank you. Can- what are the other uh, options? Yeah, your drum set. Y- you want a wood one or a, or a they're, um, they're acrylic wood. one? Wood. They're wood. Uh, your drum sticks. I got a Gretsch. Your drumsticks, they uh, have plastic tips on them? Or yes, do you want? plastic yeah. tip. Why? He's got special Because ones. whenever I use the wood tip, I always uh, chip one side of it. How many How many drumsticks do you bring to practice? Uh, as many as I can. I usually break quite a few. If actually. you're at practice and you break one, do you still pretend to throw it out to the crowd? <laughs> oh, no. No. Jake's got I a did, I did that once when <laughs> I hit a little kid, so <laughs> I don't do that anymore. It's a bummer. Sniping yeah. kids. You guys, ki- do you guys throw your picks out there? Hell no. Those babies are gold. I never know. That feels like a really arrogant no. move to do. Like you can, you have to like play a perfect set if you're gonna flick your pick. Yeah, and you're out of tune over. all the time. So yeah. I'm gonna well, t- that's turn this way. So do you guys uh, <laughs> throw your picks all the? Uh, yeah, you know, the band um, motto is uh, "Don't tune, just play." Okay. Words <laughs> of advice to bear musicians about like um, how to not give up. How to not give up. Um... I mean, if you love playing music, then you don't give up, you know? You just, you do it because you like to play. You don't do it for anything else. Like, soak in a lot. Listen to as much music as you can and try and put that back out there for people. And stop watching Gold Rush Alaska and play the guitar every once in a while. (laughs) My dad loves that show. (laughs) I love that show. Uh, It's all about networking, keeping in the loop with other musicians, going to local shows, supporting local music, um, having fun. That's about it. Having fun. Hello, I'm Alvi. This is The Breakfast Pigs. I'm Stefan. You can find us at facebook.com slash The Breakfast Pigs. We got music on Bandcamp at Alvi and The Breakfast Pigs. Bandcamp.com. There's SoundCloud. And look for uh, new music coming out in spring. So, yeah. Spring. And we want to thank Stefan. For uh, inviting us on, shout uh, out to this been guy. amazing. The show Thanks, over buddy. here. There you it's go. Amazing. Thanks, dude. It's been Yoda. Fun. This has been uh, on the couch at Music City SF. Hopefully, it's Thanks been in focus for some of this time. Eh, you know, whatever. Well, looks like it was. Like I said, don't tune, just play. Automatic. <laughs> if it was Raw. out of focus, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>